Hi everyone, it's Craig and welcome to another Success with Craig coaching module. And if you listen to me for the first time, my mission really is to, to help you raise your game and, and shift your thinking to believe in the possibilities that lay within you, around you and before you. And over the years as a successful entrepreneur, I've learned that, you know, how we, how we grow, how we contribute can be really, I guess, influential or, or really essential to your success in, in all you do, whatever your ambitions may be. So I'm really grateful that you're, you're plugging into yet another one of my Success with Craig coaching shows. If you've just stumbled across this show, the, there is a, a, a library of shows and these are, these are shows and insights and philosophies that I really want to bring to you to help you become more solution orientated, to help you let go of the, the challenges of the past, to, to live in the now and understand that it's our choices and actions of the past that led us to where we are today, but importantly, it's our decisions, our actions, our beliefs, and our philosophies in the moments of today that fundamentally will create your destiny, that fundamentally will enable you to shape your own future. And you have to understand that you are in 100% control of you, all you become, and all you do. So look, on today's show I wanted to talk about personal development. I wanted to talk about coming from a, an area of growth to contribution. You know, I stumbled into, into the entrepreneurial world. I guess like most people, I'd always wanted to be my own boss but was, I guess, scared and um, didn't know what to do or, or where to go. And I, and I stumbled into the direct selling world and it's something that I really grew to love. But what was fundamentally important for me was it was a shift from believing um, that when I left school I'd never read another book and, uh, and believing that I would learn through life's experiences, which, you know, obviously we do. But, you know, clever people, successful individuals study. They learn and they learn from already successful people. And here's a little philosophy that I have. Everything that you desire, every ambition that you have, more often than not, somebody has already achieved, somebody has already trodden that path, somebody has already blazed that trail. So there's a roadmap. There's a roadmap from A to B. There's a roadmap for how you develop your inside to create your outside. So my roadmap was stumbling across uh, actually a really good friend of mine still to this day who lives uh, about two hours north of me now in Spain, a great guy called Rob, and he recommended a book to me, to me called The Greatest Networker in the World by John Milton Fogg. And the story behind that book, book and, and the, the philosophies, the insights and the, the, the way the guy's thinking was shifted from you know, working in that nine to five droll and, and wanting something more in life, but never having the guts, the determination, the ambition or, or the know-how of how to, to really go from a life of mediocrity to a life of exceptional living. So that started my journey of personal development and I wanted to share some books with you. I've just grabbed some books, you know, I've got a couple of homes, one in the UK, one here in Spain and uh, my, my big library, if I'm honest, is, is in the UK. But I, do, uh, I did bring some books out with me and occasionally I, I take some back and I bring some more back out when I, when I fly back to the UK every month and I wanted to share some of the books with you. I mean, this was um, a great book, Conversations with the Greatest Networker in the World. Uh, but there's some, there's some books here and, and the reason I wanted to talk to you about this is because one of the things I've found is really successful people, you know, like the uber successful people, they come from a place of their ambitions, their contribution, you know, pick this, <laughs> their contribution is greater than themselves. A little bit of wind there blowing my, uh, um, my, my books off you, you got to love real live recording, hey. But their contribution is greater than themselves. Their contribution, their ambitions was to, to contribute on a greater level. And, you know, I, I guess we all go into the entrepreneurial world for uh, wealth creation. And I'm not sure what it is, but in some countries around the world, particularly the UK, you know, becoming wealthy, you know, is sometimes deemed that as not a good thing. Well, I learned from another uh, great friend of mine that, you know, you're unable to help the poor by being poor. And you find all these super successful people, they spend half of their life making money and half of their life giving it away. And uh, what a, a great position to be in. So, you know, by by being ambitious, by having a, a, a contribution, an ambition greater than yourself is what will I believe will enable you to, to go on a journey of personal development but also a journey of contribution and I think we do go from the initial focus of us to the initial focus on all of us and, and this is in, in two ways. 
You know, initially we go into entrepreneurial world, we go into employment with, a, with an ambition to, to earn an income for us. But when you develop a refined appreciation for the all of us and you, you can understand that it takes every one of us to make every single one of us successful, it's that, that collective collaboration, I think you really start to have a, a life where your opportunities will soar, when you, you start to believe in the all of us rather than the I. But initially it starts with I and it ends in us. And for me, my personal development journey started with my self-development. It started with, with learning how to shift my brain. I mean, you know, I've learned how to, to be super strong in mind, body, and soul. You know, I've not had a cold. I, I got rid of hay fever um, just because I changed my response through associating my mind and my personal development with, with people that had done this. And, and it shaped my beliefs to believe in the possibilities. And this is why I'm here today. So look, one of the, one of the great books I read was, uh, well, Anything by Jim Rowan. This is called The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. It's a really great book. It's really insightful, but it, it's foundational to shift your thinking. I mean, these are just some of the books I've got here. You've got Ken Blanchard. Uh, you, this lady is phenomenal. A great friend of mine. How Shy People Can Be Successful Too. An absolutely phenomenal book. Do you know one of the, the easiest and most impactful reads I've ever had? It's such a, a simple book to, to understand. The way it's written just really sits with me and I think for many people the, the insights in here can really help you shape your, your belief. But look, it's about going on that personal development program and, and wealth creation starting with I. You know, to go out there and, and earn an income. You know, if you can meet your financial debt uh, destination. If you can reach your financial environment that enables you to, to live the life you dreamed of. You know, I live the life I dreamed of. You know, and I work for the dreams I have. And the dreams I have are not necessarily about me. The dreams I have are about contribution. Isn't that funny? We start with I, we end in us. My personal development journey started with me and now it's focused on us. I want to contribute, I want to influence, I want to share what I've learned so you can develop your skills, sharpen your acts and live the dreams you've had. And, and it's the same with, with, with my life here now. I, you know, I started off in my entrepreneurial journey with nothing, you know, challenges, obstacles, unknown, uncertainty. And then through personal development, through a associating with like-minded people and we'll talk about the law of association on another show I started to develop my mind to become those of one of the super achievers since building a 35 million direct selling business earning well over a million pound from that and then investing in a successful property portfolio and now going on a mission of contribution from my own personal education so look, you know, there's some great books here. You know, everyone must have heard of this guy, Chris Akabusi. Do you know, I said can't yesterday to my little girl and they were laughing and they were teasing. Daddy just said can't because I never say that word because there's no such word. Do, don't, not and can't. You know, we can achieve anything. And for me, practice makes perfect. Chris Akabusi, Olympic gold medalist, amazing guy. What a cracking book. And I've seen this guy speak live and it was just phenomenal. A, a really good friend of mine, Mr. Cat Car writing Tortured Love, wrote a great book called Motivation from the Tortured Mind. And you know, I've got a lot to thank this family for. And I, and I really do hope you've come across a guy called Dr. Wayne Dyer and literally listening to him and, and understanding the philosophies, how you can get what you really, really, really want and shaping my internal beliefs to create my outside of, you know, my own strength, but also my contribution to others. And his daughter has since written a book called uh, Don't Let the Music Die Within You. And, and I think that's just absolutely fantastic. It's called Don't Die With The Music Still Inside You, sorry. Don't Die With The Music Still In You by Serena Dyer, a sensational book and just really uplifting. And isn't it great, you know, when you've got that empowering environment that you can pass it on to your children. So what are you creating for your children to be able to, to, to break the mold, to, to shift out of that mediocrity, to raise their game, raise their beliefs and the possibilities that lie before them, within them and around them. So look, wealth creation's a good plan. Personal development's a good plan. Focus on, on learning yourself. Focus on your own creation, creating yourself, creating your financial stability, creating your education, creating your knowledge, and then go on a point of, of um, self-development to contribution. Because I think there's an, an, an area in life when you get to a point where you reach a, 
at almost a plateau in your personal development. And I've got so many great books here I want to share with you, but I'm conscious of time. And But once you get to a certain point, it's then about contributing to others, about creating a ripple effect of, of positivity, contribution to, to help people maybe shift their thinking like, like you've shifted yours. So my mission is to contribute. And I would really challenge you to go on a mission of personal discovery, personal development through, I'm going to give you some tips in a minute. And then as you're developing, look to share that on, look to, to contribute. You know, these shows, you know, you can selfishly indulge and, and, and then you can, you know, literally look to share. And this is one of the things that, that I do. And for those of you that know, I have, a, I have a podcast show called Passion to Succeed. It's on iTunes. It's on SoundCloud. It's on Stitcher. And the reason I set up that show was initially for a selfish indulgence to learn and educate, but to share. So look, whatever I provide to you, you've got an opportunity to selfishly indulge, but you've also got an opportunity to share that information with others and create a ripple effect of, of education, a ripple effect of challenging thinking, a ripple effect of getting people to raise their game and raise their beliefs, okay? So look, go on a, a personal development journey. Another great book, Be Your Potential by Joseph Clough. This guy's from Cambridge in the UK, now lives in San Diego. Um, Og Mandino, anything you can get by this guy. Um, Jim Rowan, I mean, this, this book, I picked this up and it scared the absolute life out of me. It's absolutely phenomenal. Leading uh, an inspired life. Look, if you can lead an inspired life, you can, you can share, you can strive, and you can influence others to lead an inspired life as well. And then, you know, you can also get this amazing new book, uh, Driven by Passion. Um, I've got no idea how that got in there, but look, this is, this is my first book, and I say it's first of three that are already started, planned, and mapped out, uh, and this was really just about contribution, okay? So look, Get your personal development plan. You need to be focused on, you know, what are you listening to? Because what you put in your mind is what creates your thinking. You know, we, we all know about, you know, eating an apple a day keeps the doctor away. We all know if you went to McDonald's and, and ate it every day for 30 days, it's not going to be great for your health. We know processed food is something that is really not great for us. But we live in this microwave society where we think we'll cut corners. Well, you cut corners, you cut corners on your health. And you know this. We all know if we drank water all day, we would be much healthier than drinking coffee, uh, fizzy drinks, squashes, no, even maybe juices. You know, it's, it, water is the key to our hydra hydration system, and we know that. We all, I also know if I drank more water, I probably wouldn't have all these lines over my head, right? So look, we know that. So what we put in our body is what we create. It's all about the environment. And I did a podcast show that was recently launched about the environment. I'll do a, a, a coaching show. I've mentioned it before. Uh, but look, focus on yourself and focus on others as well. If you've got a, a refined appreciation for the all of us, your opportunities will start to soar. But it starts with I and it ends in us, okay? Get your personal development right. Listen to audio programs. Connect with my podcast show. There's also some amazing other podcast shows out there. Read a book a month or even a week. You know, pick yourself up a book. I mean... There's something like like Adele's book here. I remember when this first came out, I got hold of a copy really quickly. I think um, it looked, it looked signed by Adele to your success. I, I literally devoured this in a day. And, and it really helped inspire me to, to the next level. You know, and you can get something maybe a little bit thicker, like um, inspire. This is going to take certainly me longer than a day. Um, but look, you can get things like biographies as well. I mean, I'm not sure about you, but I'm a massive Michael Jackson fan. The first album that I ever uh, purchased was uh, Bad uh, back in the 80s um, when I was a young lad uh, and you know I'm a, a massive fan I've got Lewis Hamilton's um, autobiography I've got Stephen Gerrard's autobiography you know look at inspiring people Richard Branson you know people that have achieved success and, and learn from them because whatever you want has been done before typically you know, whatever we tend to desire or want to create has been done before. So there's a path, and the path can be found in books. The path can be found in audio programs. The path can be found in, in podcast shows. But it's up to you to make a commitment to feed your mind, because when what you what you create on the inside is what brings out onto the outside. So I, look, I really do hope this has helped you. This is a, it's about self development. It's about going from self development to contribution. It's about starting with I and ending in us. In, in development, in, in wealth creation, in, in everything you do because everything's environmental and you are the creator of your environment and those that rely on you, depend upon you and are around you. So look, I really do hope this show has maybe changed your thinking, raised your game and enabled you to believe in the possibilities that lie within you, around you and before you. Have an absolutely sensational day.